The U.S. Coast Guard Marquette Station is reminding people to be cautious around the water after multiple incidents in one area recently. Local 3's Rebecca Bartlemay has more. The U.S. Coast Guard Marquette Station says there are many factors at Little Presque that can turn a fun day in the outdoors into a dangerous situation. It's a very narrow channel that you have to walk down in. Um, unfortunately, we've seen an uptick in cases in that area specific about people being swept away on that little walkway just with the undertow and the and the, the current that just so happens to be apparent underneath the water. This led to a fatality last week. Just between the past couple months uh, here at the Coast Guard Station, we've responded to at least 20 people needing assistance um, out in that area in particular, and there's a potential that there has been people maybe being swept out that were able to get back before assistance was needed. With it being a heavy tourist season, the rip current that goes through that area and more people adventuring out there, Petty Officer 2nd Class Terry Bailey says it's important to keep safety your top priority. Some super important um, notes to take away from this is just to always understand that there is a current that's going through that little channel. Um, always know the weather forecasted for that day. If, if it's going to be windy or that current's going to be a little bit stronger. And uh, walking from the land side to the island itself, Little Presque, always, always, always have some kind of flotation device. Um, because if you do find yourself in a situation where you've been swept out uh, and taken off into the lake, um, having a flotation device will be... I mean, it's pivotal in your safety. And he says it's important to know what to do in the event of an emergency situation. If you see somebody being pulled out, um, it's extremely important to keep your eyes on them uh, as long as possible and notify authorities. Call 911. Reporting in Marquette, Rebecca Bartlemay, Local 3 News.